George Gerbil. Gerbil reads. J, J, J. Gerbil reads. J, J, J. Gerbil reads. George Gerbil's cage was lots of fun. Jump, take a turn. Come on, let's run. George Gerbil did a jolly deed to help some families with a need. Jump. Jump. Jump! Little George Gerbil was jumping around in his green and orange gerbil cage. I like our gerbil cage, said George Gerbil happily. Our gerbil cage is like a tiny jungle gym. Gerbils need plenty of exercise, you know. Just then, George Gerbil's big sister, Ginger Gerbil, jumped out of the jungle gym inside the gerbil cage. I like our cage too, George Gerbil, said Ginger Gerbil. I like the two tunnels in our gerbil cage. George Gerbil asked Ginger Gerbil to take turns running across the little bridge. Later, George Gerbil waited patiently until Ginger Gerbil had a turn on the rolling wheel. Then, George Gerbil jumped on the rolling wheel. George Gerbil made the rolling wheel go fast. George Gerbil's little back legs were trying to catch up to his little front legs. George Gerbil's little nose was trying to catch up to the end of his long, thin tail. Round and round George Gerbil went. Ger Ginger Gerbil called to George Gerbil. George Gerbil, I'll raise you to the bell. I think I will ring the bell before you get there. There was a little bell hanging on the cage at the top of the gerbil tunnels. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil took off across the cage. George Gerbil dived into the green tunnel on the right. Ginger Gerbil dived into the orange tunnel on the left. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil scrambled, ran through the two tunnels as fast as they could scramble. Jingle jangle, jingle jangle, went the gerbil cage bell. Sure enough, George Gerbil's big sister, Ginger Gerbil, had reached the bell first. George Gerbil smiled at Ginger Gerbil. That was a jolly race, Ginger Gerbil. You did a good job. Ginger Gerbil smiled at George Gerbil. You are a jolly good sport. Someone fun to be with, George Gerbil. Maybe next time you will ring the bell. Suddenly, George Gerbil's and Ginger Gerbil's little ears perked up. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil heard another bell ringing. Mama Gerbil rang a little bell whenever she wanted her little gerbils to come to her. Jing, jing, jing. Mama Gerbil called to her pudgy, not skinny little gerbils. It's learning time. Come and learn, little gerbils. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil smiled at each other. They like learning time. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil scampered to Mama Gerbil's soft furry side. George Gerbil snuggled on one side of Mama Gerbil. Ginger Gerbil snuggled on the other side of Mama Gerbil. Each morning, Mama Gerbil taught her little gerbils something new. Our mothers are our very first very special teachers, you know. Mama Gerbil squeezed each of her pudgy little gerbils lovingly. Then Mama Gerbil said, Little gerbils must learn to think. Ask us questions, Mama Gerbil, said George Gerbil. Make us think, Mama Gerbil, said Ginger Gerbil. Asking questions is a good way to learn, nodded Mama Gerbil. Mama Gerbil thought a moment. Then, with a smile, Mama Gerbil asked, Which is larger, a gerbil or an ant? 
A gerbil is larger, exclaimed George Gerbil. Right, said Ginger Gerbil. A gerbil looks like a giant to a little ant. Right, said Mama Gerbil. Now, what will happen if you drop an egg on the floor? It will go smack crack, said Ginger Gerbil quickly. Yuck, said George Gerbil, wrinkling up his furry nose. You are both right, laughed Mama Gerbil. Let's see. When you are asleep, are your eyes open or closed? Closed, laughed George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil together. I have another question, said Mama Gerbil with a twinkle in her eye. Which kind of sandwich would you like for lunch? Peanut butter or jelly? Both, exclaimed George Gerbil. I will get the jar of peanut butter. Yes, some of each, nodded Ginger Gerbil. I will get the jar of jelly. Clink, clank, clunk, went Mama Gerbil's knife against the jelly jar. There was just enough jelly for three sandwiches. Then the jelly jar was empty. Mama Gerbil, George Gerbil, and Ginger Gerbil enjoyed a nice gerbil lunch. Then Mama Gerbil served uh, each little gerbil some jello too. Pretty, exclaimed Ginger Gerbil as Mama Gerbil placed a little bowl of jello in front of her. Cool, exclaimed George Gerbil as Mama Gerbil placed a little bowl of jello in front of him. Soon, the jello was all gone too. The jello and the jelly were all used up. Mama Gerbil helped George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil wash off their sticky paws. Before you go back to play again, I have one more question, Mama Gerbil said. Do you think we could do something to help needy families? Boys and girls, once in a while a family may need some help. We sometimes call that family a needy family. George Gerbil thought about Mama Gerbil's question. Ginger Gerbil thought about Mama Gerbil's question. Mama Gerbil thought about her question too. Just then, George Gerbil's eyes saw the empty jelly jar. I know, said George Gerbil joyfully. We could make jelly to give to needy families. We could call our jelly Joyful Gerbil Jelly. What a generous idea, said Mama Gerbil excitedly. I could teach you little gerbils to help me make jelly. Making jelly is just a jolly job. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil jumped up and down. Yes, yes, Mama Gerbil, they said. We will help you make jelly. We will help many needy families. We'll do a jolly job. Mama Gerbil joined front paws with George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil. The three rejoicing gerbils jumped around and round in a little circle together. As the gerbils jumped, they sang. We will make some jelly, some joyful gerbil jelly. Jelly, jelly, we all want some. We will make some jelly, some joyful gerbil jelly, 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 we all want some.